morning everybody and today we're going to have a look at in in plane constraints or the visibility of constraints in different views if I was to come into here and choose to sketch a rebar in this object for example and let's just say I'm going to sketch along the cover line here just to give me a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the hooks on so I'll cancel that and hit OK and you can see I've drawn this rebar right now as we know when we select this rebar here oops let's just move that and move it that when we select this rebar you can see we've got these constraints on each end to adjust the rebar right now one of the cool things we've got in in the concrete at the moment is that when I actually select on this rebar you can see I have the constraint for the bottom edge and for the top edge. So you can see that I can adjust the constraint of that bar down the bottom, but I can also adjust the constraint of the bar on the top. And I've left the hooks on here just to, to, to show you, you know. So if I select this and actually remove the hooks, so if I come in and turn the, both the hooks off and hit apply, you can see even then when I pick the rebar itself, you can see the the constraints on both sides, even the constraint at the back edge, which you can see if I pull forward, it pulls that bar forward. Again, just a little tip on manipulating objects inside of Revit.